Hi everyone, I want to talk about coronavirus. Specifically, I want to talk about 2019 novel coronavirus. You are familiar with that, right? Yeah, that is the current trouble that has uh, emanated from Wuhan in China. Okay, if you have not picked any pieces of info through the media, don't worry, let's go. You get everything here. The incubation period is 14 days. So if someone has traveled to China and is back, whether he or she has contracted the virus or not, 14 days will be enough to start showing symptoms. Maybe you can add you no know, another one way. If you don't have the symptoms in three weeks, you're fine. Coronaviruses, they are medium size, so not big, not small. They are envelope positive stranded ribonucleic acid. They are crown like in appearance under electron microgrid. They are found everywhere. That is why they are called community acquired coronaviruses. It occurs mostly in winter time, but infections can actually occur at any time of the year. It's clinically diagnosed, but you can run some laboratory investigations to be 100% certain. The treatment that you can administer is only supportive. As a specific type of coronavirus that is causing problems right now. And that is 2019 novel coronavirus that is currently ravaging Wuhan, Hubei province in China. It started in 2019, end of the year, and is still on at present, as I speak as of today, and is spreading to other Asian countries with few cases shown in North America and other parts of the world. It is associated with seafood market. Human, to human transmission has been confirmed, though not very common. Twenty nineteen viral coronavirus in Wuhan is a beta coronavirus. The equation period is fourteen days. When you are having symptoms that I'm going to you know, go into in a bit, you notify the public health authority in your jurisdiction. There should be health protection and our understanding of 2019 novel coronavirus is still evolving. So we don't know everything about it yet and details of the virology will not be presented right here. To make the diagnosis, we can take the sputum from the affected person and run polymerase chain reaction. If the person cannot expectorate, but ask because he or she is too young for that or debilitating, very sick, you can have trachea aspirate. You can also have nasopharyngeal swap. Bronchial alveolar lavage is possible, and stools for reverse transpitase polymerization reaction is possible. You can do the lumbar puncture, get the cerebrospinal fluid, even for sense antigen detection assays is also possible. Tissue culture is, however, very difficult but you can have oropharyngeal swab as well for polymerase chain reaction. What are the possible differential diagnoses? Because everybody is scared right now, right? So it's not everyone who will come down with the symptoms that I'll be mentioning very soon that will actually be having 2019 novel coronavirus. It might be rhinovirus, 
influenza virus, respiratory syncytia virus, middle age respiratory syndrome coronavirus, or severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus. What are the possible symptoms? So when you suspect anyone arriving from China with the following, then you might be curious what is going on. So quickly run to your doctor. Community acquired human coronavirus will present weight, nasal congestion, just like flu, flu-like symptoms, right? Nasal congestion, runny nose, middle ear fusion is possible, amortitis media, particularly in children, pneumonia, if it is an individual with immunocompromised state, like someone who had transplant, diabetes mellitus, HIV on chemotherapy, on steroid for a long period of time, malnourished, and so on. Influenza-like illness, acute exacerbation of chronic bronchitis, was with those with comorbidities like congenital anomalies, heart and lung diseases, COPD exacerbations, and CRU. Bronchiolitis or B trans syndrome, diarrhea in infants, necrotizing enterocolitis in newborn, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, fever, chills, headache, myalgia, generalized encephalitis, with or without multiple sclerosis. Possible symptoms still continue, like association with Kawasaki disease is not yet proven. So the individual could be coughing, having breathing difficulty, and when chest X-ray is taken, it's going to be infiltrated bilaterally. It's possibility of renal failure, and of course, septic shock and death. Treatment, no treatment, but supportive. So symptomatic treatment, uh, just mouth fluid, take uh, anula, adv, chloroquine is not yet established in humans, still being tested in animals to handle this. Prevention. Get high protection, hand washing, protect your sneezes and cough properly. Good uh, sneezing and coughing etiquette. Dispose properly any item in contact with droplets. Chlorozylinol, benzalkonium chloride, chlorhexidine, vaccine is on the way, they're not yet here. And if you have to travel to China, avoid animal droppings. No raw or undercooked meat. Avoid dead animals, avoid live animals. No farm trees and don't visit abateur, particularly in the regions where these virus has been diagnosed or where people have been affected. And with that, I've come to the end of this presentation. My advice is be careful, be watchful. Thanks for listening to my presentation. Kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can get all these presentations immediately they are published. Thank you.